Hi, this is Kate from Izzylicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little handbag for our Izzy Busy Doll. I've had quite a few requests for that. This one, the little button doesn't actually come apart, but what you do is just push the bands around it like this to take it off and you can open it up and you have your little bag inside and then again to close it you just push the little button through the uh, the closing part of the handbag so this is what we're going to do what you're going to need obviously the color of bands that you're going to want to make your bag in I'm going to use red today you're going to need a stitch marker if you don't have a stitch marker you can use a C clip or an S clip it works just as well I'm going to use um, a little ladybug button because I'm going to make a little red bag um, to go with my little ladybug outfit that I have already made her. This one goes with the little purple outfit that I made her. Um, so choose a button and you really want to have the little um, hole through here, little loop that you can push your band through. Okay, um, And your hook. Now I like to use a 2.75 um, clover soft touch hook. That's my hook of choice but it can be anything really very very easy of, of how we're going to do this you're going to start by doing a chain and we're working in in a chain a foundation chain and then we're doing rows and turning so we're going to start by taking our first band and twist it onto our hook like this in a figure eight and we're going to chain 16 so one the this little end cap does not count as one okay so this is your first one one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So let's chain these up. You're just doing a normal chain. And I'm going to show you the first couple of rows, and then you're going to complete this yourself and there's two ways you can do the rows you can do the reverse single crochet so you do a single crochet and then you do the next row as a reverse single crochet or you can just do them as single crochets they do turn out a little bit different and I will show you that I like both ways so this is our foundation chain to start everything off So there's our 16 stitches let me just push that down there a bit this one I literally did a row of single crochet turned it and did a row of single crochet and as you can see you have these thicker sort of lines through it this one which is the one that I'm going to be working on with you today I've done the reverse crab so you have all of these stitches on this side and then all the little V stitches on this side. So it's a little bit different. You don't have the same look to it. Okay. And it's completely up to you whether you do a single crochet followed by a single crochet or a single crochet followed by a crab. Reverse crab. Up to you. So we've done our 16 stitches in our chain. You're going to move back one and two. You're going to skip these, these last two and go to this one here which is the third one from the hook so one two three it's stitch number 14 and you're going to go through it pull your band through one over the other and pull this stitch this little loop through these two like that okay and we're going to do single crochet until we get to the end And this is our first row. Now we're doing 24 rows. So it's a good idea to either write it down how many rows you're doing or do my little trick where you count out 24 bands and you take one from that little pile of 24 for every row you do. Every row you start you take one from the pile of 24 and then you slowly can see how you're working down your rows. But we'll do this one first. And we're going to do single crochet all the way down to the very last stitch. 
and at the very last stitch we do a slip stitch So this is my last stitch here because this is my end cap that we, that we started with. So this is my last stitch here. I'm going to take my band, pull it through and I'm going to add this loop to it so it's a slip stitch. So it's just like that. It's holding all those stitches on it and I'm going to chain one. I'm going to take another stitch, another band and I'm going to chain it so it's like that. I'm going to take my hook out and push it through the other way. Now, if you're doing just single crochets, you would then skip one and two and come into this third one here. So you skip the chain and this and the uh, slip stitch and go into this like that and you would single crochet. You will get this look, the look that we have with the purple bag. If you want to do the reverse single crochet, instead of going through this way, you go through the other way like this and you do your single crochet almost in a backward way now it can take a little bit more it's a bit tricky to do it backwards but I think it looks quite nice so you're pushing through from the from the back to the front rather than from the front to the back and if you need help doing this stitch I have my tips and tricks, my Lumigurumi tips and tricks, where I have all the different stitches that you can do. And for this one, you're looking for the reverse single crochet because you're doing your single crochet backwards. It can also be called the crab stitch. And basically what you're doing is having the stitches, they, they both face the same way. So you will have this sort of looped bit at the front and the V bit at the back and it can look quite effective. So this is the reverse single crochet. As I said, if you're going to just do a normal one, just do just turn it and do a single crochet the normal way. Completely up to you. This is does have a fiddle factor to it. It's a little slower. And at the last stitch again, you go through that last stitch pull your band through, add the loop, you're doing your slip stitch and chain one, pinch, push your hook through the front again from, you know, from the back to the front, skip the chain, skip the slip stitch, go into the first stitch and now you do a row of single crochet. So do your first knot, pull it through and go up the row as normal. Just doing single crochet. Now as I mentioned we're doing 24 rows. This is my third row. So I have 21 left. If you want to have a little pile of 21 bands does make it easier. Now if you do choose to do the reverse single crochet you have to remember what you're going to be doing, what stitch is next. We're doing the, the normal single crochet for this one and then for the next one we're doing a reverse and you have to remember that otherwise it's going to look odd. If you're just doing a normal single crochet for both you don't have to remember what stitch you're doing because you're doing the same for both if you get my drift. <laughs> okay here's my last stitch here actually let's just see what I've done here I think I've joined in a stitch get out of there so here's my last stitch put my band through 
do my slip stitch so I'm adding all of them onto it and chain one take my hook out push it through the other side and now if you remember because I've started doing the reverse single crochet I would go through from the back to the front again if you're just doing normal single crochet you just keep going and you just do your 24 rounds when you've done your 24 rounds you should end up with this so pause the video and you do your 24 round or 20 they're not rounds are they they're 24 rows and you will end up as i said with something looking like this and that's where we want to be at this is where my last stitch is I've done a slip stitch here but we're actually going to tie that off okay so I'm going to take my hook out and we will pretend that you have caught up to me at this point what we're going to do is fold this you're going to have it folded into three like that okay you want this bit to be a little bit higher and so this bit just comes down a bit like so all right and that's where we're going to put the button but it also means that these bits are what we're going to need to tie up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hook through the, the two bands this side two bands this side and I'm going to take a band and I'm just going to sort of tie them into place loosely and I'm going to follow the line here and do the same on the other side so that I know where I have to sew up on each side so that I don't have one side that's um, lopsided okay then what I'm going to do is go through the two loops on one side two loops on the other side it really doesn't matter too much where those loops are okay because all we're going to do is pull through like so and do your little knot and then go up to the next two and you're just single crocheting up these and the next two two on either side I should say so you're just sort of stitching these up with single crochets here's my next ones if it's the, if it's not even as far as you know you're, you're not picking the same spot each time where to go in it doesn't really matter I'm going to take this one out because that's where I'm going in next now you'll notice I haven't tied this off yet don't worry about that because I'm going to loop the stitch that I'm doing here to, to seal these up I'm going to loop that in so I'm going to push my hook through that's my little tie off band here you see so what I'm going to do I'm going to use that this is my, my last tie off band for this so I'm going to go through here oops on this side I'm going to take one side of my tie off band and bring it through like that with it so this is my tie off band I'm going to loop it through the loop and have my tie off band like this okay then what I'm going to do is start my handle now this is my end cap you can see this is the little loop that was my end cap you can actually get away with cutting this off because you don't need an end cap there anymore it's all tied in together so you can actually get rid of that which makes it look a little bit more even so I'm going to start my handle here I'm using double bands and I'm just chaining so I'm going to go through with two bands on my hook like this and I'm going to chain 37 so that was one each pair is considered one this is my second pair two three four five six now 37 was just right for me you might want a shorter handle you might want a longer handle completely up to you so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that's 8 9 10 11 
Oops, three, four, five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. Now, with this, you want to try and make sure it's not too twisted. You want it to be, you know, sort of fine here. And what we're going to do is we want to join it to this little tight band that we have here which is our marker band to show us where we're going to be and I want these to be in the middle okay so I want to go through let me hold this with one hand this is my little marker band so I'm going to undo this I'm going to go through one side here on this side there's this is where I'm going to be on the other side so I'll put my marker band there just so I know okay this is where we're marrying up so I'm going through one side I've gone, sorry, I've gone through this side. Now I'm going through my handle. Okay, one, two, three. Then I'm going to go through the other side of my bag here. So I have sort of six pair of loops here. I'm going to take a single band and I want to go through all of these. Okay, like this. And then I'm going to do a single crochet, like my little slip knot like that. And then I'm going to find the other, like marry these down so that I find two here, either side. And we just do our little single crochet, whoopsie, come back here, all the way down on this side. Okay, two on each side, I'm going through two loops on each side. You're going to tie off at the bottom here. So what you're going to do, grab your band like this, add the loop in, and we're going to tie off in a slip knot that's nice and tight. But then you're sort of going to turn this inside out. You want to push your hook through that corner and pull that tie off band so that it's back on the inside. You really don't want to see that poking through on the outside pull it through so that it's on the inside of the handbag and a little bit more discreet so you don't see it like that. So this is effectively our bag open and all we need to do is put our little button right here and how I'm going to do that is pinch my band and push that through like this okay and I'm going to approximate where I want it on the on the bag for, for the middle like here would probably be good so I'm going to take my hook and push through one side and hold the other end of the band so I'm going to pull my one side of my band through and then I'm going to go the other side and pull the other side of my band through I'm going to put one 
over the other. Now what I want to do is pull this back through to the front. So I'm going to go back through where I went in, which is here. And I'm going to grab that on my hook. There we are. Pull it back through to the front. Splay it open and pop it around my ladybug so that that is secure at the front like this. I probably haven't actually got it in the middle there, but I don't think it really matters too much. You will have it in the middle. Then you're going to find a spot in the middle here where you want to pop the ladybug through. Like this. I've probably done that a little bit high. Let's move it down a little bit. How about about here? There we go. And there is her little handbag that will fit over her shoulder. It's flipping up a bit here. I think that's just the way the bands haven't relaxed yet. There we go. So there's a little handbag. I hope you enjoy making. Take care. Bye.